Hey friends, it's day two. Excited that you're back. Today we're going to talk about building your business online. Now, as we all know right now, 2016, there's a lot of white noise happening on social media because there's a lot of network marketing companies and a lot of people who are trying to build businesses online. And so you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, how do I stand out? How do I make a difference? How am I going to be seen? How are people going to take me seriously as a coach um, on social media? And I want to I wanna give you some hope today that there are plenty of people out there who need you who need your help. You've just got to show up to be able to help them. So let me give you some quick tips on how to begin building your business online. Number one, let me encourage you strongly to start building a place for people to plug in that is not on social media. This would probably be a website or a blog. You can do these things for free. I would recommend some sort of a website or blog to where you can kind of share your story and your journey as you go. It's also going to house, you know, a lot of the healthy tips and resources that you're going to collect over time so that people know you are a great resource to find healthy information, um, encouraging motivational and inspirational healthy stuff that people just know, hey, She's associated with being helpful. I'm going to look at her page for recipes. I'm going to go to her for encouragement. I'm going to see what she's up to and how she can help me because she's a great, valuable resource. So I want you to, I want to encourage you, build a space off of social media because heaven forbid if something were to ever happen with Facebook or Instagram or Periscope or Twitter to where they just shut down and go bye bye you don't want all of your business to go bye bye with them, right? Um, I want you to have a space off of social media to where if everything else went went goodbye, you ha- still have a space to conduct business and to give people valuable information and resources. So think about creating that. Go to Blogspot. That's a great one. WordPress. Anything that you can create your own space. And ask for help on that too. Don't feel like you have to do it all on your own. Find a friend or somebody who knows how to use them. Have them help you build it and create it. Um, and you need to figure out your brand too. What is it that you want to represent? Um, what are the things that you want to talk about specifically? Maybe you know a lot about nutrition and you have you want to share a lot of recipes and, and that's really kind of your sweet spot. That needs to be a big part of what you post about. Maybe you love working out. Maybe you're a personal trainer. Maybe you, um, you know, maybe you love. Uh, other aspects of your life that that you have a lot of um, passion for. Maybe it's music or your kids or family or, um, you know, stay-at-home moms or career moms or whatever. Whatever it is that that you specify in, that you you, um, have a specialty in or that you do in life and that you know a lot about or you just have a great passion for, that needs to be a big part of what you do as a coach so you can mesh those worlds with health and fitness and connect with those people who are looking to get healthy and fit in that realm. You get to be that missing piece, that puzzle piece for them to start getting healthy. Okay, so create that space off of social media. Another thing is I want to I want to encourage you to, to focus in on just two social media platforms. So whether that's Facebook and Instagram or Twitter and Facebook or Periscope and Instagram, Try and focus on two. Don't get wrapped up in feeling like you have to have your hands in every single thing. I want you to get really good and post daily on two social media platforms. Make your make yourself known on two platforms um, and get really good at posting in both. Now, they don't have to be the exact same thing. If you're using Instagram and Facebook, keep them different. Use different photos for each, um, you know, and, and make it diverse to where people people can get different stuff from you because there are two different audiences on Instagram and Facebook as there are different audiences on Twitter and Periscope. So make it unique to that platform, but you really use two different platforms on social media. Commit to posting daily. You guys, this is huge. The consistency of your business is going to make or break your business. How much you show up. If you show up every day, you will grow. No doubt, you will grow, okay? If you don't show up every day, you probably won't grow or it's gonna be a really, really big struggle. You have to show up daily, even if it's just once a day for right now, you have to show up. People have to know that they can take you seriously, that they can trust you, that this is something you're serious about. It's not just a hobby. You're not just doing it when you feel like it, but that you are a serious source of valuable information for them that they can rely on, that they know they're gonna see your face on social media as an encouragement, or they they know that you are somebody that they can do business with because they can take you seriously. You have to show up. And if you want to grow at all in this business, you've got to be there 
every single day. Um, another thing is that you want to really focus in on when you're posting on social media, your content has to be valuable. It has to be valuable. It cannot simply be a picture of you working out each day saying, hey, here I am working out again. Shoo, got my workout done. Like that's great and kind of inspirational, but here's the deal. People aren't going to aren't going to flock to you just to look at you working out each day. You have to post super valuable information, healthy tips, healthy recipes, um, you know, how to be healthy while you're traveling. Um, and you have to make this unique to you. So if you are like, if you have a lot of expertise and experience with, you know, um, the vegan lifestyle or, um, you know, or maybe you have a background of CrossFit or something like that, that you have something else and unique to bring to the table, you've got to post about that. If you're a mom, a stay at home mom, who's really figured out a great routine of how to work out and eat healthy, um, and how to make healthy meals for your family, Focus in on that. That's got to be your specialty, but post helpful stuff. And I want you to think about this. Think about what it is that you would find helpful when you hop on Facebook or on Instagram or if you go to somebody's blog. What is it that you want to see that would really change your day and help you be more healthy each day? That's what you got to post about. What it is that you would find most helpful, post about that. And get specific. Don't feel like it has to be super general, like, hey, guys, here's a healthy snack or, you know, something that's kind of general. I want you to, I want you to get specific, you know, um, whatever that looks like for you. Post. You've got to be a valuable resource for people. I want you to talk about your business every single day. This does not mean that you have to talk about the coaching opportunity every day. This simply means that you've got to be talking about what it is that you do. So whether you're talking about your workout or drinking Shakeology or um, talking with a, another coach on your team or having a call or listening to personal development personal development or um, you know uh, uh, having a team call whatever that looks like about your business you've got to mention it daily it's got to be such a part of your business that you're talking about it to where people know what it is that you do that they know that you are a great resource as a you know a fitness person in fitness who has a business and that that they can become a part of their team at any given time because you're constantly talking about the business that's really really important so hopefully these things these tips will help you in building your business online but the the whole premise, the whole, um, the, if you, if I can sum up this whole video, is you've got to be present and show up every single day. Don't treat it like a hobby. Treat it like a business by showing up every single day and have fun with it. Have fun with it. Let people see the real you. Don't put on a beach body mask. Don't put on something that isn't you. You just do you and do it well, okay? All right, so those are the those are the suggestions that I have for you today. Can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Um, let me know. Let's talk about today and the topic. Let me know what what platforms you're using, what social media platforms, um, and if you're going to do a blog. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'd love to help you with that. Okay, I'll see you back here tomorrow.